everyone, it's Sarah with RegisteredNurseRN.com and in this video I'm going to go over a new nursing tip for you new nurses out there. Specifically we're going to go over HIPAA and privacy. This is a big one in the setting and if you're a new nurse you may not be familiar with it or if you are you want to know from personal experience how you're going to encounter this as a nurse. So let's talk about HIPAA. HIPAA is a short word for Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act. What this is, is this protects patient privacy. In a nutshell, only if it's the patient's wishes, only the patient, the healthcare professionals working with that patient know about what's going on with that patient. They can even keep this information from their spouses, from friends, from family, everything. This helps protect them and make sure that all their health information stays private. So why is HIPAA so important? Well, believe it or not, there are sometimes as nurses, we take care of celebrities, we take care of well-known people in our communities, and sometimes they may have some interesting details about their life that could get out, get gossiped about, be sold to the media, anything like that that could really ruin them because we know that gossip spreads like wildfire especially if it's anything juicy. So sharing patient information is disrespectful, but because it, it is such a legal issue, if you as the nurse or a physician or anything like that, your hospital can be sued by that patient and you can be sued and fined as well. And also chances are you're gonna lose your job. I've even heard of um, nurses, their licenses getting on probation or even losing licenses. So it's a very huge legal thing. Just sharing just a little piece of information can ruin a lot of things for you and for the patient. So the best thing is if you're not sure if you should share it, don't share it. And we live in a digital age where it makes sharing information so easy. I have heard of so many stories of people taking pictures of patients because they look funny, they're asleep and they look funny and they send it to their friends saying, look who I'm taking care of and things like that, which is a huge no-no and have gotten big trouble. And so the digital age has made it very easy to do this. And taking pictures, like I said, and also even letting another nurse who's not caring for that patient know specific things about this patient because you might find them funny or interesting or gossiping, that is a HIPAA violation. Unless that nurse is participating in that care, they only need to know what they need to know to provide care for that patient. So I'm seeing a lot of instances where nurses may be sharing information they shouldn't be sharing about a specific patient because they're not taking care of that patient. So avoid talking about your patient to anyone other than the physician taking care of it or other healthcare teams taking care of their patient. Now, the story I um, want to share with you, you've probably heard, I don't know if you're familiar with, when, whenever Joan Rivers passed away, um, the healthcare team, they had put her under anesthesia and they were taking pictures of her under the anesthesia and they that got out in the media and her daughter's going to sue, which she should rightfully sue because that's a terrible thing to do. And um, that was a big issue. So it does happen. And also, I've heard of a lot of times nurses selling the information, the patient's health information to magazines because they get money for it, which is a huge no-no. So if you don't know if you should say anything, just don't say anything at all. And never another big HIPAA thing that you have to really watch out for, especially if you're carrying, carrying report sheets in your pockets or anything like that, is never to take home, um, home the documents from the hospital. Because a lot of times in a patient's chart, they have an infograph, which is this, just that little sticker that says their name and their date of birth and things like that. That is patient information that should never ever leave the hospital. So you always want to dispose of those papers properly. Usually on hospital units they have a shred bin that you just need to shred everything at the end of the day because you don't want to take that stuff home and get caught with it. Also never just throw something in a trash can. Even IV bags they have the little labels with the patient name on it, what drug it is and things like that and whenever you're disposing of stuff and you maybe feel tempted to throw that in the tra trash can but no you need to shred that because that has patient information on it. Uh, next, this is a big thing that I experienced as a nurse. I would be on the unit and people would call me and want to know about my patient and our, po our hospital had a policy with a VIP form and this was just people that the patient 
allowed us to release information to through the phone and they had like a little special password that they told us on the phone so we know that that was the right patient and the patient signed and a lot of times family members who the patient was estranged from or even nosy neighbors as I call it would call and try to get information on the patient and um, they would try to let you think that oh we're friends I'm just worried about them and things like that and try to talk you in to giving you information and that is a big no-no so if that person is not on I don't know what your hospital might call it but we call it a VIP form or anything like that you just need to say I'm sorry I can't talk to you or be nice about it of course but say you can't release any information because they may call and try to see if the patient's there or want to know any interesting details or anything like that so never release information about a patient from someone who's not been authorized by the patient to do so so those are some HIPAA and privacy issues that you may face as a new nurse just a little rundown of it please check out my other nursing school tips um, for new nurse graduates and thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to this youtube channel